78th Venice International Film Festival. Very pleased to be joined by filmmaker Rodrigo Pla. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. And you're presenting one of my favorite films of the festival so far, I believe. Uh, it's called El Otro Tom, and uh, it's really wonderful. But uh, I was wondering whether you, you wouldn't mind maybe you know, telling us, uh, giving us a little bit of an introduction for our listeners who may not be familiar with the film yet. What does this film talk about? What's, what's it about? Uh. Uh, I think this is a, a, a film that proposes a, a possible look on the controversial diagnosis of ADHD. Right. And it does it uh, through the, the relationship of a single mother and his problematic son, who mm -hmm. is in a way stigmatized in the school as a problem child. Right. So very soon he is diagnosed with ADHD and he's, she starts to prescribe medicines to him but uh, some situations alert her about the side effects. And, and when she st st tried to stop m take, giving him medicines, uh, that she will be menaced of take, taking the custody out of her, or something like that. Yeah. Yes. Now this is uh, uh, quite, uh, quite a story. It deals with a lot of delicate themes, but uh, I, I'm, I'm you know, wondering about the, the medical, let's say, dimension. Uh, is this a serious situation? Uh, and uh, what makes you uh, kind of, uh, what, where, where did you get the idea to explore it? Are you, are you interested in it? Are you concerned with it? Well, as soon as, 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 as I became a father, yes, okay. yeah, I am a right. father with two sons. Now they grow up. But they were quiet, uh, well, they were quite special and very, they m used to move a lot and, yes. you know, so yeah. the people started, yeah, from the school, they started to talk about them and to ask you questions about them. Mm -hmm. So w we realized they were trying in a way to, I don't know, to give an option of medicating them. Right. And uh, then we start to research a lot and we realized that there are around ten, five to ten percent of kids who have been medicated, psychiatric medications, mm. and and it doesn't they, seem right. Yeah, it doesn't seem right, especially because the way they they do the diagnosis, mm. it's quite superficial in my point of view. I mean, they they diagnose. Uh, uh, taking the behavior, the, the observation of the behavior of the kids without thinking about the context, the problems they have, yeah. in, you, know, you know, it's mo mostly like, does he often moves too much, that he can't finish his task, yeah. like questions like, like that, you know. It's a, it's a complex thing, I mean, I think it also entails education, I think it's implied in the, f in the film too, that education comes into it too. Well, yes, because... An inability to understand the child, I think, fundamentally. Yeah, inability to understand the child and to put attack to the people. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the picture, in a way, talks about the complexity of mm. people. Yeah. Everybody is single, and it's impossible to attack someone. It's too simple, you know, to say, you are homosexual, you are black, you are yeah. bipolar, you are ADHD. Yeah. We have, you know, several things that go, go through us, totally. conform us, you know, it's not just one little thing. Yeah. And even if, if there are, I mean, because some, some boys are, are anguish and have some problems and all that, but if there is so many boys who are having problems or, or they are different, this 10%, maybe as society we should think like uh, how to change society and now to change them, to put them in a box mm. and to be like successful as our society wants them. Sure. Yes? Yeah. Why not to yeah, give them a space? Yeah, uh, I mean, and this, and in this film too, the fact that the protagonist is a single mother also adds another layer to the, the, you know, the delicate situation that you explore. Of course, uh, the character of the film, she's too young. I mean, she had the, 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 the song when she was very young, so she has a lot of life yeah. in front of her and in, in a way she's frustrated of having the son, yes? She loves him, but it's a complicated relationship uh, and, and she makes mistakes and the boy also, you know, and it's as imperfect as yeah. human beings are, you know? Yeah. So, uh, of it's course... It's a real relationship, it's a, it's real, a real relationship, relation. it's not an idealized relationship. We try to do that, obviously, uh, when we even think on our characters, we, we try to say we are portraying people. Right. Not characters, yeah. because when you talk about characters, you, you, you 
give them a disguise, how to say it, like a... Sure, yes, yeah. Just you know, like, like a schematic thing. Yeah. But when you go deeper with them, yeah, in the little things, we try to tell the story through little things, events in the story, uh, you know? And how did, did you do that the with nuances, the actors? To see the nuances. The actors, uh, it's the first time for okay. them. Oh, I really? mean, oh, yeah, wow. All the actors ke, were from El Paso, Texas and Ciudad Juarez. In, in the United States and Mexico, these border yeah. cities. Okay. And we decided to go with non-professional actors because it was more accurate and we could get more from them, you know? So we made like a long journey of workshops and we'll teach them how to act, yes, in a way, like six months. And it gave us something else, I think so. Yes, they did it very well and they got involved with the characters. Of course, we choose people who were close to, 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 to what we wrote about yeah. them, yes. So how much of, uh, uh, did you have conversations with them as you were coming up with the characters? Was there a process in particular uh, as far as the relationship between the mother and the son is concerned? Because that's something else that's, that can be tricky to capture. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even give them the script. We okay. didn't give them the script. You I mean, didn't? Give no, them no, no, no. Huh. Because what we, what we tried to work with them in the workshops was to, to develop the character. Right. To, so I, this way we could put the char our, our uh, characters, I mean the personage, in s s different situations, situations yeah. and they will react after what they know they are. So, so sometimes they got surprised in yeah. the scenes they were going to do, you yeah. know? It's very natural. It, it was so that, that, that helped us a lot. But we, we rehearsal a lot in different situations. Yeah. Yes. They're kicking us out. <laughs> but okay, we, no, have, to, we okay. have to end it. No, but please. thanks very much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> thanks pleasure. a lot for joining please, us. Please. And this is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.